Most people, when they have studied the impacts of subsidized housing, what I mean by that is any kind of place-based housing that receives government subsidies. Um, most of the research is focused on the benefits that are enjoyed by the individual tenants, the people who actually get to live in that housing. But what we're focusing on instead is the benefits that are potentially delivered to the neighborhood. Um, when, the, when the public housing program was, was, was first enacted in, in the late 1930s, these neighborhood benefits were actually a key part of the justification. Um, proponents argued that these investments could make a neighborhood um, more attractive, more desirable, and ultimately make more people want to live there. It turns out that identifying the impacts, the neighborhood impacts of subsidized housing is quite difficult. First of all, it's, it's difficult to simply measure and quantify neighborhood improvements. When I mean, you think about you know, community solidarity, social capital, aesthetics, um, and uh, even public safety, these are things that are difficult to capture. But what, um, what we did was we focused on property values because to the extent that a neighborhood becomes a more desirable place to live, those improvements should be um, capitalized into the value of properties. If a neighborhood's more desirable, basically people will be willing to pay more to live there. Um, a, a second fundamental challenge, I think, is, is that you know, one never knows what would have happened in these neighborhoods in the absence of these investments. And essentially, you have to figure out, you have to make some assumptions, um, as all statistical models do, about the counterfactual. And so what we assume intuitively is that property values in the small ring surrounding subsidized housing would have appreciated in value at the same rate as comparable properties that um, are still in the same neighborhood but were somewhat further away from the subsidized housing. What we found, I think, counter to the conventional wisdom, um, significant positive spillover effects on the surrounding communities. We found that properties in the, in the near vicinity and very close proximity to subsidized housing actually um, appreciated at a more rapid rate that um, these housing investments really did, as developers claimed, seem to help to transform their neighborhoods. Um, and the magnitude of those benefits was significant, um, to, uh, in fact, so much so that um, our estimates suggest that the city had the potential to actually pr probably recoup a good deal of, of its initial investments through increased property tax revenues.